Hey guys, this is Custom Miller Tech here, back with another video, and in today's video, I'm going to be answering the question that literally so many of you guys have been asking me to do, and that is the range test of the DJI Phantom 3 standard. So many people have been requesting this, so today, considering it's not very windy, I decided that today is the day to test how far it can fly. So let's get into the video. Okay, so first off, before starting this test, I just want to say that, like I did in the previous video, I'm going to be taking off my Apple Watch just to make sure that that does not interfere with anything while flying. So I'm setting this aside right now. And next up, obviously, starting the drone. I'm going to be calibrating the compass as usual. Set that back down, and let's get into the test. Okay, stop. Before continuing on with this video, I just want to say really quickly, make sure to always follow the FAA regulations. In the last upload, I uploaded this before, and it's re-upload. So if you're watching this and it's brand new to you, then hello, but I've uploaded this before and I'm re-uploading it. I did not say this previously. Make sure to always follow the FAA regulations and always follow your local laws and regulations. Also, make sure to check those out before flying and do not ever fly this far away if you cannot see your drone. I could see it, but I could not see it at one point because it was actually being blocked by a tree. So always make sure to fly safe and don't fly stupidly. Fly safe. Okay, now continue on with the video. Okay, so now to take off. And start flying away. And I just want to say right now. The way that I have the antenna positioned is crucial at the moment. I have it pointing straight towards the drone, and so that plays a big part in how far it can go. So if you're wanting maximum distance, make sure that the straight edge of the antenna is facing towards the drone. So right now I'm at a height of about 125 feet. I'm already 2,000 feet away. Occasionally while flying this far away, you'll get some lost controller things, but it actually typically does not get lost that quickly. Still five bars on the controller and GPS. I'm at 95% on battery. Weak remote controller signal. Just going to readjust the antenna a little bit. Currently at 4,500 feet away. Going to go up a little bit more. At a height of 200 feet. Still having some good GPS. Still have control of the camera. Let me just say now, as soon as I lose control of the actual drone, it should return to home. And so yeah, the Wi-Fi is at about two bars and the controller is still at four. The video feed is starting to get a little weak. And aircraft disconnected. I'm at 6,083 feet right now. See if it'll reconnect. No transmission signal. Oh no. So it should be returning to home right now because I lost connection with it. So it says right now I'm at 6,576 feet, which is crazy. It's further than I've had before. And it still isn't reconnected. Looks like it's reconnecting. Let's see if it's returning to home. Now I can see that it, the camera is still recording. flight there we go reconnected still getting really weak uh, control of like the camera the camera signals very bad still disconnected okay I'm gonna initiate return to home from the controller just to make sure that it's coming home now because it doesn't look like it's doing anything honestly that's kind of worrying because it should do that automatically as soon as it loses its connection oh there I didn't touch the controller. Now it's returning to home. Okay, so good. Should be returning to home now. I can't tell the battery percentage, but yep, there's the beep. Still says aircraft disconnected. Still can't hear it. Typically you can hear this from quite a far ways away because it's pretty loud. Oh, now you can see. 
Okay, it's 4,804 feet away. And is the camera back? It is. I now have control of the camera again. <laughs> wow, okay, that took down the battery quite a bit. Now I'm at 77%, 6,000 feet. I think that's like 1.2 miles. I think that's what I've gotten before, honestly. So I'll be putting the distance right here, especially for in kilometers for you other people that aren't viewing this in the US. Let me just tell you, okay, return to home is honestly so slow. If you rely on return to home, especially in times like this, it's really annoying because it never, like, it doesn't come back that fast. Like, it's not as fast as if you would be manually controlling it back. So, yeah. Oh, it is returning to home. <laughs> Hold on, let me see if you can see it on the camera. You can definitely hear it now. There it is. It is now up there and it is landing. There it is. Getting pretty close to the ground and I still do not have controller connection. So now, like I said before, once you're at the ground, you can pull the stick down. And this is how you land. Pull the stick all the way down and drone propeller shut off. So definitely, as you guys could see, the drone video feed had dropped from my DJI GO app. There really was no way to connect again until I turned off the remote controller and turned it back on, which you don't ever do that unless you turn off the drone first because you can risk it flying away for some reason. I mean, it could turn on and like fly away. I don't know why it would do that, but some people have had problems like that before, so don't do that. But that was the only way for me to fix the problem. So if you were planning on flying your DJI Phantom 3 standard in April of 2017 or a little bit later, hopefully DJI will fix this problem. But at the moment, there is definitely a problem with the firmware or the app and it did not connect. So I don't know why it was doing that. And that was very weird. That happened both when I flew really far away and brought it back and when I flew it vertically and flew it down. Even when I was like 100 feet away, the app was still saying, the aircraft was disconnected, which was really strange. That's never happened to me before. So yeah, fly safe when flying your drone, especially your DJI Phantom 3 standard, far distances right now. Hopefully DJI will fix this problem. So anyways guys, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys liked it, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you'd like to subscribe and see more videos like this from me, click that button down below to subscribe, even if you're on mobile. If you'd like to watch my last video, that should be up there. My last drone video, that should be down there. So yeah. That's pretty much it for this video. See you in the next video. Peace. I've determined this bottle is unflippable.